Kahit gano'n kagaling na trader kung sablay yung risk management, saan gano'n work? And there's people coming in by the minute. Oh, welcome, welcome. Very nice to see you. Okay, so... Well, the objective of uh, tonight's webinar is for you guys to have uh, proper risk management in trading. No? Kasi we believe that um, for any trader, there's three important things that you need to master. No? Uh, number one is yung trading methodology, mo, which is basically how you trade. So that's your own strategy. Uh, number two is risk management. And number three is trading psychology. So all of them are equally important. You cannot be uh, a you know consistently profitable trader if you don't have one of those kasi may mga traders na gaganda ng strategy pero hindi naman nila ma-implement yung risk management ng maayos na susunugan pa rin sila ng accounts meron naman maganda yung risk management maganda yung strategy pero hindi naman nila sinusunod yung ginagawa nila and that's trading psychology so uh, this is basically equally as important as your trading strategy, yung risk management natin. So, uh, by the end of the webinar, we should have a deeper understanding of money management at maayos natin ma-apply yun. No? So, all right. First and foremost, no, bakit importante ang money management? Well, it's, ano ba yung money management per se? Well, it's basically the ayan, uh, art no, of limiting the risk of a portfolio. So, ipig sabihin, yan yung ability natin na hanggang dito lang yung losses na pwede. No? You're limiting your losses. Kasi sa market, hindi ka laging tama. No? There will always be losses and there will always be profits in the market. Just make sure na pag natalo ka, hindi ka ma-wipe out. No? So dapat maliit lang. No? Pag natalo ka, maliit lang yung wala, okay lang. No? You can move on. You can move forward. Trade again. No? Tapos kahit tamaan ka ng pangit na market, no? yung talagang lahat against sa yung trade, kahit sampung beses kang tamaan na mali, okay lang dapat yun. Dapat maliit lang yung nakawala sa account mo. And it's gonna be easier for you to recover. Siyempre, yung drawback nun, hindi rin ganun kalang yung kita natin. Pero that's okay. The important is we're earning consistently. Kahit maliit lang, ayos lang yun. No? We are going to build our own portfolios no, over time. So don't rush it. Ayan. So, ayan, art of limiting the risk of a portfolio while maximizing its return. Now, studies have shown that 90% of the variance in a trader's performance can be directly attributed to it. No? So, actually, kung mapapansin nyo dun sa mga trades nyo, for those who've been trading for a while now, na, kanwari, na may matatalo tayo ng konti sa trading natin, tapos hindi natin maintindihan kung bakit ganun, sometimes if you check your history, pag tinitignan mo yung winning percentage mo, actually, profitable ka. However, Pangit lang yung pag lot size mo. No? Yung parang pabara-bara yung lot size mo. Minsan mataas, minsan balik. So, ang nangyari, pag kumikita ka, ang late nung kinikita mo, pag natatalo ka, laki. No? So, you check your lot sizes. Kung ginawa mong standard yan, pare-pareho lahat, baka naging profitable trader ka. So, you check that. There's a lot of traders like that. They don't realize it. Okay? Now, money management no, is very essential no? uh, to success uh, in trading. No? It's equally as important as your strategy. And, trading psychology. Now, if you don't use money management, you could have the best trading system in the world and still lose money. Kasi, wala namang perfect system. So, laging matatalo at matatalo ka. Eh, kung pangit yung risk management mo, baka wipe out ka dun sa isa o dalawang talo mo. Normally, ganyan naman nangyari sa traders eh. Lalo yung mga nagsisimula pa lang. There's just that one trade that can ruin your whole account. Kung makikita mo, dami mong tama na trades, tapos meron ka lang isang trade na arrogante ka lang. Hindi mo nilagyan na stop loss nilakihan mo, dinoble down mo yung position mo, tapos doon na wipe out ka. Pero pag tingin mo, profitable ka naman pala. So yun, huh? you, you will still lose money no, if, if you don't have proper risk management. And with the good risk management practices, no, you could have a 50% accurate system and still earn great returns. Actually, kahit 40% nga lang, kikita ka eh. So, totoo lang. If you have good risk reward ratio. So, Ito yung elements natin of money management. This is what we need. No? Number one, I suggest you place a stop loss. Number two, you need to set a specific amount that you're willing to lose. Number three, have a maximum amount to risk over a given period of time. So let's have an example. Let's say if we trade down sa so euro USD natin, dapat specific kung saan ka magkakat loss. Based on just 
trading system mo, dapat meron naman yung cut-loss level. Eh. Kanwari, you're trading based on uh, the trend. No? Tinitingnan mo yung higher low, higher high, yung mga ganyan. So you're looking at the recent swings in the market. It's very clear where you can place your stop losses. Pag nag-change yung trend, automatic kakat ka agad ng stop loss. Or kung ginagamit mo yung Abramis River, pag nag-exceed yung price doon sa Blue River, cut loss ka na agad. No? So yung mga ganun, very, very specific cut loss levels. No? So lagi mo na stop loss. And with that stop loss, kailangan specific amount lang dapat yung i-risk mo doon. Hindi ipig sabihin may stop loss ka, safe ka na agad. Kailangan tama yung lot sizing mo. Kasi kung tinamaan yung stop loss, stop loss mo, tas kalahati naman ng account mo yun, edi ganun din. Kailangan maliit lang. You need to have a specific amount to risk, which what I suggest is 1 to 2 percent. No, yan ang suggestion ko. Kapag nagsiscalp kayo, mabilisan yung mga trades nyo, then dapat even less than 1 percent yun. Kung pang matagalan naman yung mga trades nyo, for example, it takes you weeks or months to close the trade, then it's okay for you to raise risk maybe up to 5 percent. That's all right. No? And then number three, people don't realize this, no? pero kailangan meron kayong maximum amount to risk over a given period. For example, Let's say that my maximum risk in a whole week is 5%. Ipig sabihin, pag umabot yung total losses ko ng 5% at the end of the week, or kahit simula pa lang na week, nag 5% loss na ako, next week na ako ulit, tapos na yung linggo ko na yun. So there's a maximum amount to risk over a given period of time. Importante yan. Lalo pag sa mga short-term traders, yung mga nagsascalp, pasok ka ng pasok ng trade, sabihin mo, ay 1% lang naman yung risk ko eh. Pero papasok ka ng trade, ilan? 20 times, 30 times in a day? Eh di ganun din. <laughs> Pag natalo lahat yung 30% yung tanggal sa mga account mo, malaki yun sa isang araw. So, you should only have a specific amount to risk over your given period of time. Ako, suggestion ko, try 5% in a week. Pero wari, ano ka na? Tuesday pa lang, tinamaan mo na yung 5% mo, next week ka na, okay na yun. No? Kasi baka mag-revenge trading ka pa eh. Yan yung mga dalas na nangyayari. No? May galit ka eh. Talo ko ngayon. Di ba? Awi ako. <laughs> Next week na. <laughs> so, kindly remember that one trade should not matter. No? Kasi po, there will be times na na maganda yung setup. Everything everything is great. no Tamang-tama. Pero wala. Bumaliktad lang talaga yung market eh. Tapos tinamaan yung stop loss mo. That's okay. One trade should not matter. No? Kailangan pag tinamaan ka ng isang loss, ayos lang yan. Move on. Yeah, hindi masakit dapat. No? So, regarding dun sa risk, depende naman sa risk appetite niya. Eh. Mamaya, we'll talk more about it. No? So, you have to ask yourself, what amount of risk should you be willing to take? So, be natin, I'm taking 1%. No? Never risk more than 1% to 3% of your total equity no? in any one trade. So, sabihin natin, di ba, you're, you're risking 10% in a trade. That's crazy. Now, keeping your risk small and constant is absolutely critical. Para kahit tamaan ka na sa pung basis na mali, okay lang. Pero mara, kung 1% lang yung risk mo, nawala ka ng 10% no? within a month, that's okay. Kaya pa. No? Kaya madaling bawiin yung 10%. Now, taking more aggressive risks no? could easily see your account go up as high as 20% in a day. Kasi may mga ganyan, nagpo-post sila, uy, pumita ako ng ganito kalaki, na-double ko yung account ko isang araw, no? But at the same time, pwede rin kasi nilang masunog yun one day, which is not good. No? So, yung risk tolerance, no, it really depends on the person. Eh. Kasi kanya-kanya yan. Eh. There, there are people who can take, who have high risk tolerance, kahit malaki yung talo nila, they can take it. No? It doesn't compromise their trading psychology. But some people, no? konting, ano lang, konting risk lang, Medyo, ano na, kinakabahan na. Nawawalan ka na ng $1, $2, kinakabahan ka na. No? Depends, depende naman sa tao yun eh. No? It is, you, there, there are people like that. No? Personally, ganun din ako dati. No? So, you have to check out these three things. So, you have time, available capital, and then your your personality as well. No? So, tingnan natin isa-isa. No? Um, what do you mean by time? No, yung time is, gano'n ba katagal yung ano? Gano'n ba katagal yung trade mo? If you're doing scalping, mabilisan na trade, dapat maliit na maliit lang yung risk mo. If you're doing long-term trades, then it's okay to risk higher. Kasi matagal naman pala eh. No? It takes you a very long time to open a trade. No? Pihika na pihika ka. Then okay lang kahit medyo mataas yung risk. Available capital. No? 
how much capital do I have? No, I have, let's say, $1,000. And then from there, kailangan, small amount lang. Let's say, you're risking 2%, 1%, $10, $20, that's it. And then it also depends on your personality. No? Kung based on your personality, kaya mo yung mga $10 risk, again, then, then okay, no problem. No? Pero kung you're taking risk, tas kinakabahang ka, you don't feel good about it, then maybe you should lower your risk. So, depende sa personality nyo. Alright. So, this is our risk-reward uh, trade-off. No? So, let's say you have your reward percentage over here and then our risk over here. No? So, hindi siya actually, ano, hindi siya actually, it's a, hindi siya straight uh, graph. No? It's uh, a little bit parabolic. So, meaning, as uh, your as you try to increase your rewards, no, mas malaki yung risk actually na inaakyat mo din. So there's a, like a certain sweet spot that we wanna we wanna get to. No, so the conservative trader, no, basically values long-term capital preservation more than growth of returns. So yung patagala ng ng account, no, it's okay for you not to grow big, but small, slow, and consistent. That's the goal. Meron din namang mga moderate traders no na medyo ini-equal nila yung uh, capital protection pero may risk din ng konti sa market no. So yan okay lang din naman yan no. And then you have the aggressive traders who value short term movements talaga. Gusto nila malaki agad yung kitaan and they're willing to risk high because of that no. So kung mapapansin niyo as you try to push for more rewards the your risk actually becomes much, much greater. Okay, I have a question here. Um, anong katumbas ng 0.1 at 0 0.01 na volume pag nag-trade? If you're trading a standard account, 0.1 is $1 per pip. 0 0.01 is $0.10 cents per pip. Yan, importante yan ha. Kasi yan ang magdidictate ng risk nyo. Alright. So risk profile naman, no? you have your conservative, moderate, and then your aggressive trader. Normally, for low risk traders, ang risk niyan from 0.1 to 1.5%. Personally, I belong to more to this category. Medyo na dito ako sa conservative trader. Uh, for moderate traders, no, 1.5 to 3%. And then yung medyo aggressive is 3 to 5%. To be honest, traders don't go above 5%. Kapag nag-risk ka ng 10% sa trade mo, medyo kalokohan yun. No? Medyo gambling na yun. 5% is the highest that you can go to. Tapos very aggressive ka na nun. So dapat kung tinamakan kayo ng stop loss, 5% maximum yun. yun. Alright. Now let's talk about position sizing. No? Position sizing is yung tinanong kanina. No? Yung ano yung tamang lot size ba na gagamitin ko dapat. No? So position sizing is very essential no? for money management. And it's basically the amount of equity invested on a trade. No? Now, finding the right balance to that is your uh, is the key to money management. No, so kailangan natin malaman yung correct uh, position sizing natin. Okay, so there's a couple of things that we we need. No, number one is yung stop loss natin in pips, and then number two the amount of money to risk. Now. Before we go to the other slides, I'd like to keep it simple and straightforward. So, ang gagawin natin is, gagawa na lang tayo ng example para makita nyo din kung paano siya kinocompute. Alright. So, wait lang. Sara ko lang trade na to. Alright. This came from the earlier class. Alright. So, over here, let's say na ang trade natin dito ay... Uh, as you can see, the market is not really going anywhere, to be honest. Um, but let's try to have a trade idea. Let's say itong trade idea natin na to, no? meron tayo nakikita some sort of a resistance there. Okay? And then generally what we want to do is, ng pips pa to. Ang liit pala. I'm on the M15 chart. Let's go a little higher para mas may sense. Ayan, ayan, ayan. All right. So over here, sabihin natin na... Uh, Recently, nag-buy tayo. No? So, yan. Sabi natin, ito yung buong buy area natin. Okay? So, the price is currently at the support. And 
magbabay tayo ngayon. Okay? So we're gonna buy at this price, which is 1.1006. Okay? Tapos try natin gumawa muna ng capital. So anong capital natin? How much capital do we have? Para try natin mag-compute ng actual. Alright, our capital is suggested here $1,000. O sige, $1,000 tayo. So right now, our capital is $1,000. From there, ang kailangan natin tingnan is yung stop loss muna. Based dun sa trade mo, ano ba yung stop loss natin? No? So as of this trade, ang stop loss natin is below our support, sabihin natin. So let's put a price in it like 1.0983. So yan ang stop loss level natin. Which is from the current price. And sabihin natin, ito na lang yung buy price natin. 0.6 na lang, no? From there, that is around 21 pips. Okay. So our stop loss is, gawin ko na lang 20 pips ha, para simple lang. Okay. Our stop loss is 20 pips. Okay. From there, tignan mo ngayon, ilang percent ang i-risk natin sa account natin. Let's assume that we're going to risk 2%. Okay. So if our risk is 2%, then 2% of $1,000 is equal to $20, di ba? Lahat ba nakakasunod pa? So, so far, ang gusto natin gawin is gusto natin mag-buy ngayon. Ang stop loss natin all the way down here. Tapos, ang ating pera ay $1,000. No? So, we have a 20 pip stop loss. And then, our risk is 2%, which is around $20. Okay. So ngayon, ang kailangan yung computein is, this is the formula, I'll show it here. Sulat ko ah, screenshot nyo na lang. Kasi mas mabilis to explain. What you need to do is, you get the risk. Risk divided by stop loss is equal to pip value. Okay? Yan ang ating magic formula. Risk divided by stop loss is equal to our pip value. What do you mean by that? So, try natin i-apply. Ano, our risk for now is $20. Diba? Ngayon, i-divide natin yan by 20 pips by our SL. Now, if you divide $20 by 20 pips, that means meron tayong $1 per pip. Nakasunod pa? Since ang equation natin is risk divided by stop loss, it's equal to the pip value. Our risk for now is $20 kasi 2% of 1,000. Our stop loss is 20 pips based dito sa trading system natin ngayon. If you divide that, kailangan ang lot size natin ay 1 USD per so, anong volume ang gagamitin natin kung $1 per pip tayo? Anong volume dapat? Kagaya nung in-explain kanina, tama po, 0 0.1. If you're using a standard account. Tandaan nyo ha, for a standard account, ang 1.00 na volume ay $10. Pag 0 0.1, that's $1. 0 0.01, that is 10 cents. Kapag naka-micro ka naman, palitan mo lang yon lahat into cents. No? So if you write there 1.00 na volume, that is equal to 10 cents. If you write 0 0.1, that's equal to 1 cent. I don't think you can go lower than that. Okay. For the... Okay, I have a question here. Um, anong difference ng standard at saka ultra low account? Actually, this was discussed yesterday uh, on the Wednesday webinar. I suggest you you join us there para mas mahaba explanation doon. But to to answer it uh, briefly, yung 
mas mababa ang spread or yung transaction cost ng ultra low pero wala siyang deposit bonus. Okay, that's the ano, That's the difference. No? Uh, may replay ba ito? Ay uh, wala pong replay to. Kasi sa advanced classes to eh. But the slides I can give to you. How about for micro? I just explained you micro. Ha? Palitan mo lang lahat ng two cents. Yun yung M na nakasulat na example ko kanina dito. Pag 1.00, this is 10 cents. 0 0.1, this is 1 cent. Okay? Important yan, ha? Very important stuff. Huwag nyo makalimutan yan, ha? Kasi yan ang magdidictate ng risk sa inyo. Okay, so, so per trade po yung risk or overall trades? Ah, that's an excellent question, no? Um, it's both. Number one, kailangan may risk ka na per trade para nakaset na kagad. So let's say in this trade, I'm only risking 2%. And then, meron ka dapat overall din. Sabihin natin for this week, ang maximum ko lang na pwedeng matalo is 5%. No? Or sabihin natin, 10%. Malaki na nga yun. Let's say 5%. Pag tinamaan na yung 5% mo, ngayong linggo, next week ka na mag-trade. No? Sir, paano pag 1% lang ang risk example? Sige, sige. Let's try that on a different uh, setting naman. No? Pero malinaw yung equation. Kasi walang... Walang tanong regarding dun sa ano natin eh, sa pag-compute natin eh. Malinaw ba? So in this case, ang kailangan natin ay $1 per pip. So kung mag-trade tayo dito, di ba, new order, kung magbabay tayo dito sa price na to, ang volume natin ay 0.1, $1 per pip. Ang stop loss natin is around 1.0983. Kasi yun yung linya natin sa baba. Ang take profit natin, let's say that Wala muna, open take profit muna. No? If I click buy, there you go. Ito yung entry price natin. Hindi lang masyadong sakto dun sa taas. No? Ito yung stop loss level natin. So if the market goes down here, tanggalin ko na yung line. No? Yan. If the market goes down here, tinamaan yung stop loss natin, we will only get out with minus $21. Kasi kasama yung spread. Eh. Okay? So roughly, naabot mo yung ideal risk mo na $20 lang. Okay, let's try to have another computation. Okay. Try naman natin 1%. Okay, magkano ang equity natin? $100 daw. May nakita ko $100. Sige, $100. Ulit yun na. <laughs> Ulit yun, sige. O, pero sige, for, for example sake. Sabi natin, $100. No? Pag ganyan, mag-micro account ka na. Okay. Tapos, hanap tayo bagong trade setup. No? Sabi natin, ang trade setup naman natin is that we want to sell over here. Dito naman sa taas. So, natin mag-sell dyan. So, our selling price is 1.1085. So, natin mag-sell doon. Ang stop loss natin is above the recent resistance which is 1.1099. Okay, so that's a difference of around ilang pips lang yan. Kunti lang pala yan. Third, 14 pips roughly. No? So our stop loss is 14 pips. SL is 14 pips. Now, our risk is 1%. No? Yun yung sabi nyo gusto nyo percent risk. No? So, risk is 1%. And 1% of $100 is $1. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, yan lang ang risk natin. Dapat kung matalo tayo, $1 lang mawala. Mahimbing talaga tayo makatulog niyan. Okay. So, same formula. Ang gagawin natin is... Yung risk natin, which is $1, divided by 14 pips. In that case, meron tayong, sigle, tayo calculator ko na para hindi ako magaling sa math. 1 divided by 14, 0 0.07. Huh? 0 0.07. 0 0.07 USD per pip. Now, this means 
kung meron kang $1 per pip, no? ay sorry, $1 yung risk mo, tapos that should be divided across 14 pips, then dapat ang risk mo lang ay 7 cents per pip, which kung standard account ang gamit natin, hindi kaya. Kailangan na kanon tayo niyan. Naka-micro account tayo. Kung micro account yung gamit natin, anong lot size po yung 7 cents per pip? If we're using a micro account, anong lot size? No? Tandaan nyo, ang 1.00 ay 10 cents per pip. Kung kailangan natin 7 cents per pip, ano dapat yung lot size natin? Alright, good. The lot size is 0 0.7. Kung micro account. Kung standard account yung gamit nyo, you have no choice but to stick with 10 cents per pip kasi that's the minimum. Tataas yung risk mo pag gano'n. Alright, uh, so possible na hindi na mag-close yung trade during the day. Meron kasi akong trade dati na inabot ng ilang days bago na-reach yung TP. Oh, oh, the longest trade that I held was one year and two months. <laughs> you know, matagal. No? Pero you can hold it that long or even longer if you like. Uh, if the risk is 2% po, does it um, pertain to losses only? Yes. No? Ang inuuna natin is risk muna. Yung losses muna. No? Now, if you're targeting something, no? kung yung take profit naman natin, meron tayong tinatawag na risk-reward ratio. Mamaya, we're, we're gonna cover it, but I'm gonna explain it here uh, in the charts kasi mas madaling explain dito eh. Yung risk-reward ratio natin is that whenever you risk something, at least double of that yung target natin. So let's take a look at the first example. So first example natin, ang risk natin is 20 pips, right? It's 20 pips. So if we're risking 20 pips, we should be targeting double of that. Dapat 40 yung target natin. So 40 is somewhere around here. Papalitan ko yung kulay para makita niyo yung take profit level siya. No? So the green one, this is around uh, 40. O oh, tama, konting baba lang. Yan. So that's our take profit. Kailangan kung ano yung i-risk mo, double of that yung kaya mong i-target. If the market cannot give you that, then wag mong kukunin yung trade. Dapat you should at least be able to take double of that. Bakit? Kasi po, if you have a risk-reward ratio of 1 is to 2, Ibig sabihin, you're risking 1 and you're targeting 2. So if you're ta risking 20, you're targeting 40. If that, uh, if the trade allows you to do that, no, kahit 40% of the time ka lang tama, profitable ka pa rin. Even though you only hit your mark 4 out of 10 times, you're still profitable. That's the beauty of risk-reward ratio. Okay? So that's your take profit. Alright, so... Was I able to discuss that very clearly? May tanong ba? Medyo diniscuss na natin yung mga ibang stuff na i-cover pa lang sa slides ha? But it was easier to explain it on the charts and some actual examples. Alright, so wala naman tanong. That's good. Okay, so malinaw yan ha? Kasi ito talaga yung pinaka-core ng pag-manage ng risk. Ito na yun, yung pinakita ko sa inyong computation. This is it. <laughs> yan yun. <laughs> Ayan, I have a good question. So, super risky pala pag hindi naglagay ng stop loss. Oo. Kasi pwedeng, I mean, if something happens in the market, nabigla ang gumalaw yan, we never know. No? Alright, so moving forward. No? So, yan ko lang. No? I'll fast forward a little bit because we already gave actual examples sa charts natin. Follow na lang natin example kanina. Uh, that would be clear. Okay. So, ngayon, ito yung risk-reward ratio no, that we discussed earlier. So, yung risk-reward ratio natin, it basically shows you how much money you are risking versus the potential reward on a trade. No? So, kagaya nung ginawa natin, we're risking 20 pips, we're targeting 40. Now, in order to attain the risk-reward of the trade, both risk and profit potential of a trade should be defined. So, titignan mo. Kanina, dinefine natin sa charts natin kung ano yung possible risk natin. Balik tayo dito. No? Doon sa unang trade natin, we are now, we were defining here that our risk is 20 pips. And it's very clear 
na pwede natin kunin yung 40 pips, which is double of that. No? Wala namang umaharang sa ating resistance. No? Malinis na malinis. Pwedeng umakyat yung price at umabot dyan. So the trade actually allows you to get uh, your risk-reward ratio correctly. No? So risk is determined by using the stop-loss order no? and reward is determined using the take-profit order. Kagaya ng ginawa natin ngayon lang. No? So a stop loss is designed to limit an investor's loss on a position while a take profit is used to establish an exit point at profit already. Okay. So ito yung calculation, no? I already showed you an example earlier, but uh, here's another example. Let's say yung entry natin sa market ay 1.1500 for the Euro USD. Our stop loss is 1.1400, which is 100 pips, yung risk natin. Dapat yung Kung yung target natin is 1.1650, ang reward natin is 150 pips. Meaning, ang risk mo is 1 and then ang reward mo ay 1.5. So this shows you that type of risk-reward ratio. So if yan yung setup natin, it might not be a very good setup to take. Kasi parang bitin eh. At least dapat 1 is 2 risk-reward tayo. So, ayan, here are some examples uh, for risk-reward ratios. So, dapat ang minimum na kinukuha nyo is 1 is to 2. No? Kung nag-risk ka ng 20 pips, target mo 40. No? In this case, if you're risking $200, you should target 400. Now, if you can go higher than that, even better. Now, there's a lot of uh, setups that allow you to actually get more than 1 is to 2, especially kung nag-trend yung market. Um you're risking like $500, you should be targeting 1,500, no? 1 is to 3. There's a lot of setups that allow you 1 is to 3 uh, ratios, no? especially for trending markets. How about if you're risking twice and then you're only targeting a small amount? Yun naman, hindi maganda yun. Kasi if you're risking $1,000 and you're only targeting $500, kailangan nasa mga ano ka, 70% of the time panalo ka para lang kumita. And that's very difficult to do, to be honest. Mahirap yun. 70% of the time, tama ka. Mahirap yun. If you're doing 1 is to 2, even though you're only making 40% of the time correctly, okay lang. You're still profitable. If you're targeting 1 is to 3, kahit 30% of the time ka lang tama, you're still profitable. So that's good risk-reward ratio. Okay, I have a question here. Can I just monitor uh, in trading without putting a stop loss? Yes, you can, but it's difficult to do. Lalo kasi doon papasok yung trading psychology. Kasi ayaw mong pindutin yung close. <laughs> yun yun eh. Minsan gusto mo dagdagan pa yung trade. Binabago mo yung stop loss. Mahirap yun. At saka if you're looking at the charts all the time, it will make you go crazy, to be honest. But uh, pwede naman, no? You can monitor the charts if you like. Especially for those who are scalping yung mga mabilisang trade, hindi na sila masyado naglalagay ng stop loss. Mental stops lang yun. Alam nila kung kailang exit, but it's very hard to do. Kailangan sanay na sanay. No? Alright, so ito yung sinasabi ko sa inyo na 30%, 70% of the time panalo. Um, let's say if our average win is 1 is to 5, no? It's $1,000 and then a loss natin to $100, which is 1 is to 5 risk reward ratio. Kahit 30% lang ng trades natin yung tama, profitable pa rin tayo. Kasi if you check it out, 3 times $1,000, that's $3,000. No? Yun ang ano natin, ang win natin. No? And then yung losses naman natin, 7 times 200, that's around 1,400. So at the end of the day, we still get out with $1,600. Very profitable pa rin. Kahit 30% tama ka lang. But it's very hard to get setups where you get 1 is to 5 risk reward ratio. Okay. Okay. On the other side of things, ito naman yung mahirap. No? Maliit lang yung target mo, $200, pero risk mo, $1,000. Sakit sa ulo niya, no? 5 is to 1 risk reward ratio. Ngayon, kahit 80% of the time ka panalo, which is very hard to do from the start, 
if you have your expectancy over here, no, eight times two hundred dollars, you get one thousand six hundred dollars. Pero yung mga talo mo naman, two times one thousand dollars, negative ka pa. You actually lose four hundred dollars, no? and you're expected to make negative forty dollars per trade. See, so it's actually good to get setups na maganda yung risk reward ratio. All right, how can I have the slides? Uh, I'll send you the the link, yung Google Drive link. All right, so ito naman, no? just uh, charting it out yung kanina, no? expectancy natin. So if you're... Uh, if your risk is 1 and then yung reward mo mababa lang, 4 is to 1 risk reward ratio, ang pangit yan. No? Para lang mag-break even ka, you need to be 80% right all the time. Whereas kung ang risk reward mo ay 1 is to 2, ang break even point mo is 33%. If you're 33% right all the time, you're at break even. Okay lang. No? Pag 1 is to 3 ka, ang break even mo 25%. Pag 1 is to 4 ka, ang break even mo 20%. So kahit dalawang beses ka lang tama sa 10 trade, hindi ka talo. Right? It's very important stuff. All right. Now, ito yung sinasabi ko sa inyo na na may kasamang trading psychology. And it's it's very difficult to manage. No? Now, most of us feel better with the trading system that produced more winning than losing trades, no? And that's how we're programmed. Eh. Sabi natin, pag may nagsabi sa'yo, uy, 40% lang ako tama, you would automatically assume na hindi magaling yung taong yun. But if you have good risk-reward ratio, that person is actually profitable. And that person might actually be more profitable than a person who claims I'm 70% right all the time. Pero ang baba pala ng risk-reward ratio niya. Lugi pala siya lagi. So don't take a look at the winning percentage. Hindi yun yun, no? At the end of the day, it's still the profit that you make. So the vast majority of people would have a lot of trouble no, with the low accuracy system. 40%, 50% ka lang tama. No? But that's okay. If you have good risk reward ratio, you're still making money. Okay? It's our natural tendency to be right all the time. No? So you have to remove that. No? And the percentage of winning trades no, is not the most important, but it's uh, more of building your trading system no, and being profitable in it. All right, so I guess that's pretty much it. No? Um, yung kaninang tinuro ko, that's the best way to manage risk. Okay, very important stuff. And uh, I hope you guys uh, use that for your trading. No? Can you give me a moment? Kukunin ko lang yung um, Google Drive link. Uh, I I haven't saved it, so saglit lang. Give me like uh, a minute to, to retrieve it. Uh, in the meantime, may mga questions ba? All right. For the meantime, hindi ko ma-access yung ano eh, yung saglit, hindi siya lumalabas eh. Um, you message me dun sa, for those na wala pang uh, Google Drive link, you message me sa Facebook so that I can send it to you over there. Mas madali kasi doon eh. Uh, my Facebook name is Jonathan Lu Forex Coach Reyes. Yeah, lang Jonathan, Jaka Forex coach, you'll instantly find me. All right, so I have a couple of uh, I have a couple of uh, questions here before we end. Um, paulit yung pag entry ng amount pag micro account. Okay, pag micro account, tandaan yun po. Now, one point zero zero na volume is ten cents per pip. No, one point zero zero is ten cents per pip. Zero point one is one cent per pip for a micro account. 
uh, how about the broker commissions per trade? No? With XM, yung spread lang ang titingnan nyo. Walang commission si XM. So it's just the difference between the bid and ask price. That's what you're paying for. Uh, when your trades go south, is it advisable to hedge? That's an excellent question. I think that's one of the best questions we've had tonight. Um, what is hedging? No? Hedging is parang nilalock mo yung trade. Let's say you're buying uh, 0.1. Tapos ang gagawin mo, magsisell ka din ng point one para nakalak yung position mo kahit umakit or bumaba, hindi gagalaw yung equity mo. Um, to be honest, it's not a very bright uh, idea to do kung hindi mo alam kung saan talaga papunta yung market. No? So if you're just doing it out of panic, um, tapos walang strategy in place, it's not a good idea to do so. Most of the time, nasusunog yung mga gumagawa nun kasi they, they release the trades at the worst possible moments. So they incur more losses actually. Pag ganun, kailangan may ideal stop loss ka na talaga. Pag tumama doon, cut muna. Uh, message me on Facebook ha, para ano, yung mga umingi ng link ha. And tell me you're from the webinar. Okay, are 20 pips for stop loss realistic? Yes. Yes it is. Mga hindi dapat gawin sa risk management, no? take away po. <laughs> uh, ano po yung swap? Okay, swap is the overnight interest rate. Every day that you're holding onto a trade, it could be positive or it could be negative. No, I'll show it. I'll show you where to find it. For example, hawak mo yung Euro USD na trade overnight. No, actually overnight, basta nag cross ka from 5 a.m. to 6 a.m. Basta yung minute na yon. Um, magi incur siya ng Swap, no? swap fees could be positive or negative depending on what you're trading. So for example, ang tinitrade mo ay Euro USD. No? To check for swap, you right click there, go to specifications, and then you'll see yung swap long at swap short. Makikita nyo dyan yan. Wait lang ah. Ayan. So if you actually buy Euro USD, kapag nag-trade ka ng one lot, and you hold it overnight, Meron kang minus $9.67. But that's for one lot. Ah. Pag nag-trade ka ng 0.1, bababa yan. Magiging 96 cents na lang. No? So nag-scale siya relative to your lot size. Pero pag nag-sell ka naman, you actually earn $3.60 per day that you're holding it. No? And to be honest, hindi naman, hindi mo mararamdaman yan until you hold it for maybe a month or so. Doon mo mararamdaman yan. Always remember Wednesday swaps, no? From Wednesday to Thursday, times three yan. Okay, so that's one thing to watch out for. All right. Uh, pwede pa rin ba deposit and withdrawal sa micro? Oh, naman. It's still an account nonetheless. Pwede yan. Uh, how much trailing stop should I put and uh, when should I put it? Um, most of the time, kung maglalagay ka ng trailing stop, it would be equal to your stop loss or at least half of that. So if your stop loss is 50 pips, pwedeng 50 pips yung buong trailing stop mo or pwedeng half of that, which is 25 pips. Uh, can I change from micro to standard account? Uh you can't, but instead, you open a new account. No? Kanwari, meron kang micro, gusto mo going standard. Pag-open ka na lang ng standard account, and then you can internally transfer funds from your micro to standard. Madali lang yun. You just contact chat support. Uh, they'll help you through it. Uh, ano po yung pinakamagandang time frame na magsiset up ng stop loss or take profit? Well, walang, mag walang pinakamagandang time frame. No? You have to check first kung... Ano ba yung system mo? No, kailangan it starts with the trading system. Eh. When you have a trading system, let's say gumagamit ka ng moving average, gumagamit ka ng mga Abrahamis reverse or whatever tool you're using, kailangan nakadictate doon anong time frame ba ang tinitrade mo. So if you're a short-term trader, nandoon ka sa mga M15, H1. If you're a medium-term trader, nasa H4, D1, ganun. Ang suggestion ko, H4 or D1 para mas, mas stable yung charts. Uh, why is the cell... Positive, bakit 
positive yung overnight swap ng selling position, it's the difference between the interest rate of the dollar against the euro. So, yun yung... So, if you're actually shorting, you're buying the dollar and selling the euro, mas mataas ang ginigain ni dollar per day kaysa ka euro. But it's a, it's a long uh, explanation. No? That's like the brief version. Um, pag nag-scale out po ba, scaled din dapat yung risk? Okay, what do you mean? You're scaling trades? Parang konti-konti yung lot size na pinapasok mo? Tapos dapat scaled din yung risk? I don't understand the question that much. Kailangan ko na example dyan. Maybe you can message me on Facebook so that I can understand it more. Uh, out of out of topic, ano yung price sa lucky draw sa PAFT? Uh, deposit bonus no, from XM. Alright. So I think nasagot ko na yata lahat. No? Yung mga iba hindi ko masyadong masagot eh kasi uh, I'll need some examples for it. Para maintindihan ko baka mamaya mali sagot ko eh. Um, my account is Jonathan Lu Forex Coach Reyes. Just type in Jonathan and then Forex Coach. Ako yung lalabas doon. Uh, yung terms and conditions ng deposit bonus ni XM still applies. Alright. So anyway, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, nasagot ko na yata lahat, no? So, ayan, uh, tandaan nyo, kahit gano'ng kaganda yung trading system nyo, kung wala tayong risk management, it's useless. So, you have to, still have to have good risk management. Alright, uh, kailan po ang next seminar? Wala na tayong seminars for the year, eh. So, the next seminar will be February na. Manila seminar. So, uh, pagdating February, ano na naman yan? Tuloy-tuloy na naman yan. But we're, medyo pahinga na tayo for, for the year. No, family time na rin naman ako nun. <laughs> January 27 ba? I'm not sure if it's, if it's first week of Feb or January 27. Uh, I'll, I'll double check now. Last time I checked, it was Feb. Pero baka minove nila. Other sources for study? Check nyo yung mga materials namin sa PAFTI. You might, you might like those. Alright. So anyway, thank you guys. And uh, yeah, I won't take too much of your time. Happy weekend, guys. And uh, yeah, um, message nyo if, if you need uh, anything. Anyway, bye-bye, guys. Good night. Have a very pleasant evening ahead of you. See you next week.